so it's been a little over two months since the last time I got anything public from Void Interactive on anything ready or not related, and since then, I've been getting a lot of questions. What the hell's going on? Is the game dead? Where's the beta? Why are so many people mad at this game? Well, what I hope to do with this video is to answer most of these questions and more, but before we get into that, be sure to like up the video so that more people can see it and get informed on what's going on with this game. Subscribe and ding that bell if you want more ready or not content or any games just like it because I cover it frequently, and uh, yeah, let's just hop into it. At the timing of this recording, they just released a brand new video on their YouTube channel, but it's actually not a new video. It's a video that we actually covered on the channel about two months prior. If you want to take a look at the breakdown I have of this video, then I will put a link in the eye icon at the top right or down in the description if you want to take a look. We really went in depth on that video, and it actually got quite a bit of views. I'm actually surprised with that one. But uh, anyways, what exactly is going on? Well, the reason why we haven't gotten a whole lot of public updates is because Void Interactive no longer has a community manager. I actually mentioned this in the previous Ready or Not video, but it was just kind of like thrown in there at like the very end. And I'm not really sure a lot of people actually caught on to that. But yeah, Void Interactive is going through a bunch of community managers. Like the first one that they had, if I remember correctly, was Easy Street, who was one of the creators of the SEF mod for Swap 4. And then FAQ, we called him FAQ because he was literally the dude that created the FAQ for the community for Ready or Not. And ever since he left, it has not been updated. Easy Street and FAQ were like the only ones that I actually like liked the most because they were actually community managers from the community but the thing that really sucked is that they were the ones that were kept the most in the dark about a lot of the things that were going on behind the scenes like there were some times when i knew more than what they did and that's probably why they left because they didn't even know where this game was going and then there was the unofficial one which was shiznit it was really questionable as to how she actually got that position but i mean as long as she was keeping us updated then whatever she was there for like a brief moment but then she left and then we had guinevere who's arguably the best community manager out of all of them because she was the most informed? I'm not saying that Easy Street FAQ or Shiznit were bad, I'm just saying that Void seemed to give Guinevere the most content, the newest content, different kind of content. Like she actually dropped stuff that was actually new rather than all the other people before her. Cause Easy Street FAQ and Shiznit were getting like the same freaking content every week, talking about one map, look at the sounds, look at the atmosphere on the same map but a different day. Couple this with the fact that they have not updated the goddamn supporter edition build for supporters until this very day so if you're someone that's interested in the supporter edition here's my advice do not buy it it's not worth it it's a waste of your money and it's actually false advertising now that i think about it yeah right here we'll be evolving and updated as development progresses while well, development has been progressing but it has not been evolving or updated for the supporters this all leads into a reason as to why a lot of people are pissed off at void interactive but we'll get into that later anyways so guinevere left and two months later there's no more public updates so so that's what's been going on. Next question, is the game dead? Well, short answer, no. Long answer, even though they have not been updating the supporter build, they have been giving us updates in the form of videos or pictures that are maybe like a minute to three minutes long. And from everything that I've seen, you might as well not even trust the freaking gameplay trailer that's on their channel at this point because it's really false advertising. Like everything has completely changed. Like that game that you saw in the gameplay trailer is not at all what they're showing off in the NDA server. To me, it almost feels like they're starting from scratch again because they've made quite a bit of changes some that i like and some that i hate but i can't really talk too much about it which is why i haven't dropped too much content on the game because it's under nda okay maybe i can talk about one thing that i kind of dislike that they actually showed off and that's the health system because before you had to actually stop and like pull out a like a modern health kit and then actually fix an issue with your body and there's actually like a cool animation where he like twists his leg back into place or stick a needle in your leg like that was cool i like that but now they replace that with like a freaking in like a far cry type of healing system where he just like pulls out the tweezers and pulls the bullet out and you're good to go it's like what the fuck oh man why did they change that but anyways but this kind of leads into my next question here uh when is the beta and i don't actually really have an answer for that but if i had to guess i'm assuming it's going to be sometime in 2022 just judging by the amount of snippets that they've been showing us granted i don't have the actual build that they have i have no idea what it actually is or looks like but even if i did know i wouldn't be able to really describe it to you but from everything that i've seen it just feels like it's not ready for beta but again i haven't really seen much it just seems like it's not ready for beta again if i had to speculate i'd say 2022 but who knows i could be wrong maybe they are actually gonna you know drop it at the end of the year i doubt it but who knows okay so i hope i was able to answer those three main questions for the most part so let's get into the reason why people are mad at these developers well it mostly has to do with 
three things terrible PR broken promises and boneheaded decisions so what do I mean by terrible PR well I mean at the moment you're kind of experiencing it where they don't actually talk for like long periods of time publicly I mean, I'm not saying that they don't talk to us like they're currently talking to us like in the NDA server like it's not as bad as it used to be but before the NDA they just almost never told us what the hell was going on for very long periods of time we would honestly speculate that maybe the game is going under or maybe they just abandoned the project like there was just no communication whatsoever like literally all they had to do was like a simple tweet just to clear something up be like hey guys we're still here we're still working on the game no they wouldn't even do that here's an example back in i think it was either 2017 or 2018 i can't remember my head's a little hazy on that but basically the gameplay trailer was supposed to come out in june july of one of those years and june comes around nothing happens at this time i was a staunch supporter of ready or not so i was just like don't worry about it guys they'll probably have it out by july july comes around nothing happens a whole month later nothing happens and then another month after kicking and screaming from the community on what the hell's going on they finally come out like hey guys it's coming out possibly two months but no more than three whatever the hell that meant because the gameplay trailer would not see the light of day until about a year after it was slated to release like if you compare ground branch or zero hour they're always talking about what they're doing behind the scenes publicly but void is just so goddamn quiet like you could hardly tell if they're actually even working on the game i mean they probably are but you can honestly not even tell so very very poor communication so what do i mean by broken promises well the amount of times that they placed a date and not hit their own goddamn date is fucking off the goddamn charts <laughs> even with the freaking recent beta release like some of the developers were like yeah there's no way we're gonna miss out on this one well the beta was back in june or supposed to be and we're currently sitting in november as of the recording of this video so yeah they're still doing that so whenever they place a date i just don't fucking believe that they're actually gonna hit it just because of the amount of times that they freaking missed their own damn dates. <laughs> And then, they, and then they go and claim to be professionals. This is some of the funniest shit ever. Yeah, professionals that can't hit the date. So that's what I mean when I say broken promises. Because they promise that they're going to release it on a specific date and they don't do it. And I guess you could add updating the supporter edition build to that list of things that they promised. They have not updated it. This actually leads into the next thing that I want to talk about. So what do I mean by boneheaded decisions? Well, there are a number of them. But I will tell you one for an example. So just after the trade trailer launched they advertised their supporter edition like we said in the very beginning it was supposed to be evolving along with development and for a time it did but after maybe like a month or two they just stopped giving us updates and the community was rightfully like what the hell where's my updates it's like how am i supposed to test this build if you're not updating it like how do i know if my feedback is actually working or not they tried to give us the corporate pr of oh well see uh we want to make sure that the build is perfect before we actually give it to you and we were like okay whatever but then they go and freaking do a multiplayer event with a bunch of content creators which i was not invited to i ended up getting in but that's only because i had my connections if i didn't have my connections i would have never gotten in probably and the event ends up being buggy as hell and riddled with a bunch of issues that most likely would have been found if they had actually used you know the supporters that actually wanted to support them by finding bugs and issues but no they kept the community in the dark and they shot themselves in the foot by giving such a buggy build to a bunch of giant content creators with millions of subscribers and broadcasting it to the entire world that this game is definitely not ready for release like i don't think i've seen such a boneheaded decision like that before at least not from an indie company and another thing about it is that why are they showing off multiplayer like the bread and butter of this game was supposed to be the co-op single player and the multiplayer was supposed to be like the icing on the cake like all of their advertising up until that point was basically focused on the co-op single player but then they pull a sleight of hand and freaking put out a multiplayer event this <sighs> Uh, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Are we over eight minutes? Yeah, we're over eight minutes. Okay. Well, I'm just going to end the video. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover Ready or Not, be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon, or click on the join button that's underneath the video. Any donation helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more notifications on anything that I post. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.